super loud, but that's, uh, that's what we band directors do. So I see a lot of new faces. For those of you that I haven't met, uh, my voice is not normally this stern. I'm just talking really loudly so you can hear me. But my name is Josh Boyd. I am one of the band directors here. Our second band director is Miss Lane Planton right here. Yeah. Uh, anytime you send anything or you need any information, usually you get it faster on toll with Miss Planton. That's very much true. So for a lot of you, uh, you should know Miss Clanton really kind of runs the place. So you're never bothering me to bypass me and just go straight to Miss Clanton. Uh, in addition to that, our percussion instructor is Mr. DeMarcus Berry. And our front ensemble instructor is all the way in the back with her baby, that is Miss Hernandez. And one of our alumni has been on our visual and brass staff for the last few years, I am told that uh, he's going to have to leave me at some point because he just graduated with his degree in music. This is Mr. Lee Chestnut. Yeah! And then as you can tell, i got no business teaching girls how to throw flags in the air and catch rifles. I, uh, I wouldn't do a very good job at that, but we do happen to have two amazing color guard coaches. Uh, and our two guard coaches are Miss Morgan Dobus with baby Emilio over here.
kid who sits inside in the air conditioning all day and then jumps out in the 90 plus degree weather and tries to march with a tuba or even a flute. Um, you will not feel all that great. So you have full permission to kick your kids out into the yard and make sure that they are um, getting used to the heat. Uh, even if they're just sitting in the heat, that's better than sitting in the air conditioning. And make sure they drink lots of water. I'm telling them now so that you don't end up drinking Dr. Pepper all summer, okay? So hydration and getting used to the heat are the two biggest factors um, to being successful at band camp. So just to throw that out there. All right, guard, jump up. The first exercise that we're gonna do is an angle exercise. It's very staccato, it's very aggressive, and it shows off our muscles and it shows off our ability to be really quick. Here we go. And we're gonna do one set of twos and two sets of ones. One set of twos and two sets of ones. Five and six and five. Six, seven, eight and one. Hold two and three. Hold four and five. Hold six and seven. Hold eight and nine. Hold ten and eleven. Hold twelve and third. Four, fifth, one, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, again, nine, and ten, and eleven, twelve, third, four, fifth, stop.
this year. It's the same as the old one, just with a couple more re repeats, a little bit more seasoning on it, just to make it a little bit more exciting. And my favorite part as a teacher, it actually all has sheet music to it, because if you don't, you know. All right, y'all ready? Yeah! Also, they've only had it for three total hours. So today, the drum line just played it with us for the first time about 45 minutes ago. So if it goes south, blame me. Coker and Miss Christy Hammond. Just press the button and talk. You got it. Hello. So I'm Kim Coker, the president of the Band Boosters, and this is Christy Hammond, vice president. So tonight we have a couple booths set up in the back if you guys will come and visit them. One is to sign up for the band boosters. We need the band boosters because the band boosters help the band. Is that accurate? Uh, very accurate. Yes, we help support the band in millions of ways. I won't even say hundreds of ways, millions of ways. So if you can come and sign up, we need your help. There's a station back here that um, for volunteers went from bus chaperones to senior committee. 
band, uh, band camp needs, all kinds of stuff. So Seriously. if you'll just come back here and visit, and students, if you'll make sure that you go over and sign the unsubmitted banners, that will hang in the new band room where you get your new band room open. And then also go to the, the photo station because that's for Instagram, so you all have an unsubmitted picture. So that's me. Okay. Hey, I got you. Yeah. Okay, senior committee, that's a new table we've got this year. Um, all senior parents and seniors, if y'all don't mind, go up, sign up. Make sure you put t-shirt sizes down. Um, if you want to be part of the senior committee and you're not a senior parent, um, feel free to sign up. Y'all are going to have seniors one day, so we need y'all to kind of um, follow them a little bit too. And that's all I got. All right. All right, so I'm going to talk at you kind of fast so that we can get you guys over here for what you came for, which is to get everything signed up. Yes, the most important thing, actually, before you leave tonight, and I'll go ahead and get it out to make sure I don't forget it, is up in this room, we have uniform fitting. That's where we need your student shoe size tonight, and we need to know their pant size tonight because we have to get those order placed. Now, something that's really cool and unique, if you haven't heard, the show this year is called The Distance. And it's about a marathon. And we really try to think outside the box. If you saw our show last year, you saw where we pulled out a Yui, which is like an electronic instrument. And everybody was like, what in the world is that? And so this year we've asked ourselves the question, why do we have to wear a traditional band uniform? If the show is called The Distance and it's about wearing a marathon, why can't we have an Adidas sponsorship? So I also want to just shout out to our athletic department and also Gable Sporting Goods and everything else. But the band this year is going to be in all matching Adidas wear. So hats off to Adidas. If you get a chance, it's Gable Sports and Newton. Really support those guys because it takes a lot to outfit a band. You know, your average athletic team has about 50 to 60 players. A big one has 70. And I go to them and go, yeah, I need 150 of everything. So they step right up, which is super awesome. But we need those sizes uh, tonight. That would be very, very helpful. Uh, let's talk about just a few quick things. Let's talk about the things that you're not going to like me for so that I can spend the rest of the time telling you things that you will like me for. But I always have to get this out. It's the number one reason we have this meeting, other than to celebrate our students. The band schedule is located at noonanband.org. And in the top right-hand corner, you can click Marching Man. Now, my veteran parents know the speech, but I have to give it every year. On there, you will see the summer rehearsal dates. Let me go over that with you, because it's super easy. Most of the bands in the country practice all summer. I'm not one of them. I'm a family man. I got a one-year-old, a 16-year-old, a 17-year-old, and I'm very active at my church. I like to have a month off. So we ain't doing nothing after tonight until June 28th, which is the last Monday. So for those of you that are like, but I really want my kid to go somewhere for the summer, send them to church camp because they can't come here in the month of June. Now, here's what happens in June. The next thing that happens is, is every student chooses either the last Monday in June, which I believe is June 28th, or they can come to July the 1st. What we do on those two dates, and they do not have to come to both, though about three quarters of them do come to both just for fun, but that's where we really dig into marching. You didn't see a lot of marching tonight because marching takes longer to get. And that's what we do. If you don't know anything about band, just know we teach them the steps. That's what I like to call it. We start talking about the steps in those dates. But if you have a vacation on one of those, don't cancel your vacation plans. You should go on that vacation. And, uh, and I'll just go ahead and tell you, to be completely honest, I never kicked anybody out of band. I missed both of those. But just know that when your kid shows up to band camp, if they're not at those two dates, they will be behind. They won't know how to march. And while the rest of the band starts the first steps of the show, I'll have to pull your student out from the group and give them remedial help for two days to get them ready. Because that day is super important. Now, band camp. Here it is. If you miss band camp for any reason, even a good reason, you will not be able to march in marching band. That's it. Uh, things that you cannot miss band camp for. Uh, somebody had a baby. Can't miss band camp. So-and-so is at the hospital, can't miss band camp. I have a doctor's appointment, can't miss band camp. I have a dentist appointment, can't miss band camp. I got church, can't miss band camp. Uh, but it's a religious, can't miss band camp. I mean, I've literally heard every excuse in the book. The one thing that's going to get you tonight, and I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out, and I'm going to go back to the things we're going to like each other over. Band camp starts July the 8th. That's the first week. We will go 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. other than Tuesday, July the 9th. We've got something cool in the works that we'll announce there pretty soon. The second week of band camp is that following week. 
July the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. We will go from 8 a.m. in the morning until 8 p.m. 100% attendance is required. You may not miss for any circumstances. If for any reason you're gonna miss any of that, your child should not come back. They will not be marching. Band camp, 100% required. No exceptions, no excuses. Now, I'm gonna go back to positive stuff, but I have to throw that out there because every year, I don't, what I don't want you to do is give money because that gets me to the next thing is anytime you pay money into the account at Newton High School, it is non-refundable at all. So, parents, be aware. Have that conversation with your student two nights before you write the check. Are you committed to this marching band? Because if they quit for any reason, you thank you for your donation to the Newton High School band. We greatly appreciate it. We're going to use it to help some other students. But we do not refund money at Newton High School for any reason. So, make sure everything that you do is, is for. Last but not least, before I get back to fun stuff, Let's talk about the finances behind this. I was talking to a good friend of mine who's one of the band directors at Northgate. Do you know how much Northgate band fees are this year? They're $1,000. And that's not as expensive as East Coweta's. Do you know what Newton band fees are? Three fifty. And if you're going on the trip, you don't owe any more money. You've already been paying on it all this time. You just didn't know it. I took care of it all in there for you. So I say that to say, tonight, you only owe a hundred dollars. You can get back to this barber in the corner. You also can avoid the line. Just go to newtonband.org and pay it on the school pay link, and then send this barber by email a copy of the receipt, and don't even stand in line. Got no issues with that. So that is that. You can pay it in full, or you can just do what I do and just pay a hundred dollars a month because I got two kids and I am broke. So that's how that that's how that works. Um, I do want to say this though, we have never in the history of Newton Band, to my knowledge, ever turned down a kid who did not have money. But I don't accept kids' words for it. So if you're a parent and you come to me and you need some help, my answer is always yes. In fact, we won't do this. But if I were to say, raise your hand, if Dr. Boyd's ever uh, come up with a different payment schedule for you, probably half this room's hands would go up. I have some parents that work at like, they wait tables at Red Lobster. And they go, Dr. Boyd, I get paid every other week. Instead of $100, can I just send in $50 every other week? Because that's what works for me. Sure. I have one parent that goes, Dr. Boyd, I'm a commission-based sales job. Can I just pay it once every other month and just pay a bigger payment that way? Absolutely. But what you have to do is you have to email me and Ms. Marvin so that I know. Because if I don't know that's your plan, all I know is your kid quit. I, have no, I wouldn't know because God did not give me the psychic ability. That would be a cool ability, but he knows that I would not use it for good. I would use it for evil. So he didn't give me that superpower. That would come second to walking on water. That would be a cooler one because I'd make a lot of money betting. And that's gambling, and that's not a good thing either. So that's why God did not give me walk on water ability. Anyways, moving on. Once we get to the fall, we practice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We do not practice on Thursday. The full schedule for that is on the Newton Band website. We do not practice past, I believe it is, 5.30 on Wednesdays because a lot of our students go to church. I'm not promote church. I know this separation, do you want to get me started on that? But I'm aware that three-quarters of my students go to church, so I'm not going to fight with three-quarters of the band. I lose that one every time. So we just stop on Wednesdays early. So, again, if you're a church-going parent, you don't have to stress. We're done in time. Having said that, every now and then I do run into someone who says, but but that's gonna conflict with me. Well, that's the schedule, that's when we do the thing. So, the next thing is, is the football schedule. We go to all football games, home games and away games. We also go to two competitions on Saturdays and we have two Saturday practices. Now, the rumor is that band's gonna take up every Saturday. Actually, we take up five. Two practices, two competitions, and then we host the largest competition in the entire state of Georgia, which I'm told as of this morning, has already been completely filled in October with 20 bands participating. Side note, I see some alumni that are my age. If you were in the band 45 years ago when the competition started, we are going to honor the band director who recently passed away. We're actually gonna honor the band director that started Old South 45 years ago because it's the 45th year and we're definitely gonna do something special at awards night this year. So if you're of that generation, you be on the lookout for more information. But this year at our Old Southeastern, we got a big thing coming. So that's super cool. Um, but anyways, now, the last two things I wanna tell you and then I'm gonna hang out and answer questions is this. We do have some opportunities 
to what I call work off a little bit of the feet. For those of you that are like, hey, 350 is a little high. Is there anything I can do? I will tell you this. We are looking for two people that will volunteer to drive the band equipment trailer. That just means you got a pickup truck. We can hook up our trailer to your truck and you're gonna go to the game anyways. Will you pull a trailer? It needs to be probably a 250 truck or larger. But if that's you and that's something that interests you, let me tell you, you see, we got this cover. See this guy right here? Go see him at some point today. Yeah. And then we'll give you some more information on that, but we've got a little bit of discount for anybody. Um, is it a discount? No, not really, because let's be honest, you're volunteering to pull your truck, and you're going to spend some gas pulling a trailer. So the least I can do is do something to help you out. So if that's something that interests you, go there. Now, on the band B thing at 350 that price is based on 350 plus your participation in two fundraisers. One of those is working the band competition. The second one will come up in band camp. We'll end up having one. Last year it was a car wash. We're going to put something else there. Now every now and then I beat that parent that goes, Dr. Boyd, we don't do fundraisers at my household. That's fine. You can pay more money. Love that. And if you'll see your thing, you have options on there that you can do option two. Option two is not $350. You're going to pay $450 and participate in only one fundraiser. Or maybe you don't want to do any fundraisers. I got you, boo. I'm good with that. You save me from having to pass out all that stuff. Just don't pay $450. Pay $550. And then don't do any fundraisers. We are good with that. But my experience is as new high school parents usually are overwhelmingly appreciative. But I need you to help me because... As you know from the economy, interest rates went up and everything cost me more, but I'm proud to tell you, my veteran parents will tell you, I have not raised fees but one time in my last six years at Newton High School. I raised about $50 two years ago, and I'm not raising it again this year. So I need your help on that. And just to reiterate the band boosters, the most important thing that you can do, band parents, is not give me your money. It's give me your time. If you can volunteer to be a band booster, that's how I keep band peace so low. We're the best deal in town. In fact, go call all of your band friends that are in Metro Atlanta area bands that are winning and ask them what the band fees are. I challenge you. Call your friends at East Calweta. I love it. You will call me back, write me thank you emails. Do it. Call your friends at Northgate. But the secret is, and their band director, uh, one of their assistant directors called me and said, how are you doing to get nuded? And I said, the answer is simple. I have the best band parents. That's my secret sauce. I have band parents volunteering for everything, and that's how we do it. So help me out with that. Now, last but not least, first-year marcher parents. First-year marcher parents. You're going to owe $350 plus an additional $50 for shoes. You do not need to give me that $50 today because I'm not going to give you the shoes today. That's not fair for me to make you pay for something I can't give you, right? You just got to get fitted today, and then at band camp, we'll send something off from the remind text, and we'll tell you when to send in that $50. If you're a veteran parent, I make a commitment to you. We are changing the shoes for the entire band because we're marching in Adidas shoes this year. But I made a commitment to my band parents, and that is, is that when you buy that first pair of shoes, unless your kid loses them or grows too big, I will not ask you for more money. But because I changed the shoes, I keep my promises. Veteran parents, your shoes are covered by me because I cannot charge you. I've been breaking my promise that I already made to you. And I make that same commitment to you, not incoming first-year marchers. When you buy this first pair of shoes, unless your kid loses them or grows, um, I'm never going to ask you to buy that second pair, even if I have to eat the cost. Um, so, again, this first pair, that's why we do nice shoes. So they'll hopefully last um, all four years. Now, last but not least, let's talk about the big forms of communication. I've had several parents that are emailing me, Dr. Boyd, I'm not informed. You don't tell us anything. <clears throat> You should look at the people around you and go, that dude sends me so many emails, he's annoying the crap out of me. It's like junk mail all the time. That means that your student did not give us the correct email. You Bless your heart, you have no idea. So I'm now going to tell you how you can get on the Remind Text list because there are two ways I communicate with parents. The primary ways are the band website, and the second way is Remind Text Message. So if you have your phone out, I will now tell you what number to text to, and what you can text to get on that Remind Text system. Because after today, we no longer send emails. I never communicate with parents by emails ever again. Like a one-on-one -on -one email, just not a group email. Those things get kicked back. All right. The number you're going to text to is 
81010. Again, the number is 81010. And the thing that you are texting is a little at sign. All one word, Newton Band. All one word, Newton Band. Oh, you're doing it because my phone is going off. And if it goes through right, you'll get a little message. 81010. And the phrase is Newton Band. That's what you want to text. That's what you want to text. That's important. Over the summer, I will send out remind text messages because I know you have a life. And this summer, you don't need to wake up every day and check that website. So over the summer, when I update the website, I'll send out a text to let you know I changed something. That way you'll know things. Now, we're going to have an amazing year. When I got to Newton High School, the band only had 75 students marching this year. You can see the numbers. We're going to march 141. And that's through COVID. You can clap for that. It's awesome. Super, we're super excited about that. Now, students, I want to say this in front of your parents. I expect you to pass your classes. I want to be very clear. I expect you to pass your classes. I do kick students out of the band who don't pass their classes because your grades are more important to me than how much you play the bicycle. Because at the end of the day, my goal is that you leave this school and you get an education. Whether you go to college or, quite frankly, go to trade school, that's a great opportunity, or join the United States military, whatever it is that you do, enter the workforce. My goal is that you're great at it. So passing your classes is extremely important to me. Parents, they got to take care of themselves. I've already sent six people home, just so you know the procedure. When a kid has come off the sideline because they physically can't make it for dehydration, I give them one time of five minutes, and then they got to call and they have to go home. I am not here, and they'll say it like it is. Sounds mean, but it has to be said because I tell them all the time, I'm not your mama. Your mama is here to love you. I'm your coach. And if you didn't take care of yourself and you wore long pants, you wore the wrong shoes, or you didn't eat right and you're dehydrated and throwing it up, I don't know what to tell you. Go home. I can't help you. Like, you didn't do what you were supposed to. So parents, I need you to help me out. Get them on the side. They ain't going to like it. Get them off that video game. Y'all know. Come on, parents. I'm 41. You know, that old school love. Go out and play with some sticks. Go build a fort. You know, get, get, them off, get them off the video games just a little bit. Help them eat right because that's going to matter a long way. But parents, let me now save you money. Because I'm going to let them call you three times. But on the third time, I'm going to tell them they can't come back until you have taken them to the doctor that the doctor has cleared them. And at that point, it costs you extra money. So help me save you money by helping them eat right and do right. I'm being told, one last reminder, there are four forms. Three of those forms were due tonight, parents. Don't let them lie to you. We put paper copies in their hands two weeks ago, and we emailed it out, and it's on the band website, newtoband.org, click Marching Band. If you forgot it, you can drop it in the mail and send it to me. But three of those forms are actually due tonight. The final form is the physical form. I need that before the first day of band camp. And let me be clear, if they don't bring it, I can, my, can let them go the first day, but my principal will come get me if I have a kid that is not medically cleared to march. That sounds like me losing my job. And if I have to choose between you yelling at me or losing my job, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna let you yell it all out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm so sorry they have to go home. But, yes, ma'am. I have mastered the art of the yes, ma'am. But just know that when you're mad at me, that's the choice I'm making is my job and paying for my family or your anger. I'm going to choose your anger every time. So make sure that you help me get the paperwork done. Now, I know that was a lot. I'm going to stop talking. Here's what's going to happen. Up there is a uniform fitting. In fact, trumpets. Trumpets, you go ahead and be walking up to that room. You can leave your horns right there. Trumpets are heading up there because they're the next ones that are going to get fitted. Parents, if you have a money thing or you need to turn in some money, that's Miss Marvin. Booster stuff is over here, lock the tables. I am going to come stand in this corner to answer any questions that you may have for me. And other than that, I will see you on June 28th. I declare this to be done. Yeah.